Exodus chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. He said, and the child grew, and she brought him unto who? Pharaoh's daughter, and became her son. And she called his name what? And she said, because I drew him out of the water. Verse 11. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out into his bedroom and looked on their bodies and his spy on Egyptian smiting and Hebrew one of his bedroom. I think there's a place again I want to get there because of time. But the Bible said that when Moses grew up he refused to be called what? He refused to be called what? The Bible said he refused to be called Pharaoh's Pharaoh's what? Pharaoh's son. When he grew up, he rejected the foundation. He rejected the name. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I want to pray for somebody here. If there is anything following your ministry or following your life, following your destiny, whatever is tied to your family, the Bible said Moses came and he spied the body and said, no, this body, the load here too much. I cannot continue. But I believe God for somebody here today. In the name that is above all name. Whatever is following your father lineage that followed them and they followed you right now. That you can observe that this thing is following them. If your amen is not borrowed, you shall cut yourself off. You shall be separated from them. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. That is, he saw some things and looking deep that this name, if I continue to follow it, what is following them will follow me. I came, for, I came with someone here today. Anything that is following the family and is following you despite your prayer, your fasting. Moses rejected his own. Today, I have said, I agree with you. You must be separated from that altar. If you shout that amen, you must be separated. The Bible said, is it Joel 3.10? He said, let the weak say, I am strong. In case you are coming from a weak foundation, there is a stronger foundation prepared by the Holy Ghost. And that place that does not allow your voice to grow, to be stabilized, to be honored, today you shall cut out of that place. Somebody said, I am coming out. If you shout at them, you are the first to come out. Look at the scripture. Moses means the one that was drawn or picked from the what? From the water. That is everything that revolved about his life, water. Born in the water, picked from the water, was also used to set the people free from what? And again, God got angry with him because of the same water. Any power that, that is following you and vow not to let you go. After this conference, I set fire against that root. If you shout amen, I see you coming out by thunder. I set fire against that foundation. Somebody shout amen like a thunder. Elijah said, take my life for I am not better than my fathers. In other words, the grandfather died of suicide. The father died of suicide. The man with such anointing also is saying they should take his life. And pray for somebody here. If anything is following you that is not of you, if you can jump and shout fire, I separate you, I cut that enough. I cut it all by fire. Somebody shout fire. You remember when Jesus was being taken to the cross, the young men were sit down sir, the young men spat on him, they were saying no kind of thing, rebuking Jesus give him all kind of name can I shock you, who can tell me what Jesus said, who can tell me what Jesus said, he said father forgive them for they don't know what 
But Jesus knew what was happening. But they don't know what was. So there was something following Jesus while they were spitting on him. Jesus said to them, not be their fault. Now wait till they follow me. Anything that is following you, that is negative to your dream, negative to your prophecy. Somebody said, I cut it up. Shout it again, said, I cut it up. There are many things following pastors, irrespective of the power, irrespective of the anointing, irrespective of the grace that doesn't want their glory, their voice to come out. If Jesus himself, with all the embarrassment, the things that were happening to him, the Bible said, he said to them, don't add these children to the problem. It is not them that is the problem. It is what is following me. If you can lift your two hands, whatever is following you, I set fire against it. If it is late marriage that is following you, or timely death, poverty, the fire you cannot travel abroad, whatever is following you, as your amen is the loudest, I disconnect that thing by fire. I disconnect that thing by fire. Somebody said, I caught myself from that negative darkness that is following my ministry. That is following my destiny. Lift your hands and say, I cut off myself. Cut off myself from that negative altar. Negative foundation. Negative power. Follow my calling. Open your mouth and pray. It. Whatever negative follow me. Cut it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. See that, sir. Take me to the book of Jonah chapter 1 verse 8. Then said they unto him. Somebody say, tell us. We pray thee. For whose cause this evil is what? Upon us. What is the occupation? This is now um, international passport. What do you do? You want to leave Nigeria? You want to travel? What is the occupation? And when comments die, where are you coming from? What is that country? Somebody say international passport. Jonah wants to travel to another country. And then they are telling him, write your CV down. And when comments die, what is that country? And of what people are that? Expose yourself. Make we know. This thing where they follow us. We know ourselves. This thing never follow us before. Who make this thing follow us? Give us your identity. We can understand. Give us your details. We can trace where this temptation is coming from. I don't know what is following you because you got born again. And the authors and foundation are saying that what right are you to be born again? What right are you to be a pastor? Whatever I say no to your calling. Whatever I say no to your salvation. Whatever I say no to your deliverance. Somebody jump, shout fire! I declare by the decree of heaven every rising and falling in your ministry, every altar of poverty and shame, whatever is falling in you, somebody shout, I cut it off. Shout it louder, I cut it off. I decree and I declare upon you any darkness falling in your ministry, falling in your calling, today you reject it by fire. If you shout that amen, you will never go back with them. Somebody said, I reject them by fire. Jesus said, don't bother yourself. Don't cause these people. Now me the thing they follow. That is why they are stoning me. They could spit on me. They are doing what they are doing. If you cause them, you are just oppressing them. Now me get the problem. Every problem attached to your calling. Attached to your ministry. That make you to cry, weep secretly. If your amen is not borrowed, I declare what to break that curse. Somebody are not breaking. I said I declare what to break that curse. I break that covenant in your life. I command that follow, follow spirit to catch fire. Lift your hand, shout fire. Lift your leg and shout fire. Jump your feet and shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down, sir. Sit down. Matthew 
chapter 2 verse 2. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen we have seen his star. Someone say we have seen his star. What is the other name of Jesus? His name is what? Bright and all right. When the devil was going to fight him, the Bible says he disguised as agent of what? He also came as a star to fight him. So there was something following him. Elijah, if you insult him, fire. If he pray, fire. When he wants to be taken to heaven, shout out of fire. Today, instead of negative to follow you, let it be fire. Fire, bara bara. Let it be fire. Let it be fire. Somebody shout fire three times. I pray for every one of you in the name of Jesus. That battle that is fighting your life shall die by fire. That thing people are waiting to call you a negative name. To give your ministry a bad name. That thing following you from your mother's house. From your father's house. Somebody shall fire. Moses, bring the rod to where? River. Someone say river. Everything about him. River. 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 Today, whatever is following you, we will handle them today. Whatever say your, your destiny cannot come alive, we shall deal with every one of them today. In Judges 11 verse 3, the Bible said, and then Jephthah fled from his bedroom. Why should a man who has a grace, who has a leadership capacity, run from his people? Because of what was following him from his father's house, he ran away from them. That demon that doesn't want to let you rest, you have come here today. By the time you go back, that thing will not follow you back. Any altar rest to swallow your glory, your calling. Any battle bigger than your calling, that is programmed on your way. They said this is what is following the family. Today, because you are here, that thing is dead forever. That covenant is dead forever. If you shout at the man, you are free. Matthew 3 verse 17. Matthew 4 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If that be the Son of God, command these stones to what? Why are they fighting you, sir? Because of what you want to change in your family. Because of the prophecy you carry. Matthew 4, 3. Because of your determination that you must change the image of your family and the battle become fierce. What did he say? Matthew 4, verse 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if that be the son of God. What is the anger here? Because he's claiming the son of God. In that same Matthew where we just read, Matthew 3, 17, if that be the son of God. This is my beloved son. Don't even go there, please. The anger is the love God has for you. The anger is the assignment that the prophecy God has for you. This is my beloved son. God making special. Then back to Matthew, Matthew 4, 3. What did he say? If you are the son, the anchor here is you are no longer the same powers from the father house. You are no longer from the same root. You are no longer the same place. You have come out of darkness to light. And then they are still there. The battle is why must you change what is on ground and say you are going to the light. There may be pastors in your family, but they don't have the light. They may be bishop your family, but they are not booked by God. And that's come the battle you are facing. Why is your own different? How come you carry the wisdom and grace when they are still carrying the same thing? Some are carrying title, you are carrying grace. And then come the battle. If you are the son of God. So many temptation and battle many of us are facing in the calling is as a result of the prophecy that we what? 
The Bible described another name of Jesus as sheep. Is that correct? Where was he born? Where was he born? He was born in Menja. What did they do in Menja? Where they rear sheep. So that he can feel the smell because that was the assignment. Whatever you are going through now is for a while. Whatever delay, temptation is for a while. Whatever you are smelling now is the same thing you are sent to deliver. And I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. Grace will bring you out from the ground. As you shout that amen, you are coming out by fire. Somebody shout that amen louder. Jesus was sent for the lamb. That's why John the Baptist said, Behold, the lamb of God comes. So he has to start from the place. Not because of money. The assignment makes him to start there. Sometimes you may not be where you are, not because God does not want to help you yet, but God wants you to learn some things there. Something is ahead. Something is what? The team of our coming all night completes better things ahead. And I pray for somebody here. Your testimony, your breakthrough, something is ahead. If you shout that they may receive it. Psalm 119 verse 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. That what? I may learn that status. Some of us, there's no way we can be matured until God allows us to learn through the hard way. Is that correct? That's why there are some things I've waged, I've gone through here. If one fall on your leg, you will just die. It was good for me. God, it is good for me. He now appreciated the end product of the pains. That I will have been afflicted. When God wants to help a man, he allows some affliction. He allows some school of thought. He allows you to learn some things that are hard. And what did he say in the minute to die? He said it was good that I was afflicted that I may what? Learn that status. Many of us would have had understanding of the status and how the status can be a blessing. If we had no better, would that be better than what we are? But God allows some things so you can be well delivered. When the time comes, you can fulfill your destiny. But thank God, if Moses can come on age to declare, to say, I reject this body. That's what he said in that Exodus 2 verse 11. The scripture said, when he saw the body, he went to spy. When he came on age, that Moses has grown, that he went out onto his bedroom and looked on their bodies. The body is over today. That person say, name I say, your body is over. Every body put on you, we shall drop them today. Somebody say, I'm dropping them. Any darkness, place on me, say, I'm dropping them. Any situation, place on me, say, I'm dropping them. And I see everybody dropping them. Moses came on age. Galatians 4 2 talks about and hair. You know, if he has remained and hair, he wouldn't have survived it. He said, but he's under tutor and governors until the time. What? Age is synonymous to liberty. Because if you are remaining as an heir, there's no way he could have grown to see the battles. But he has grown on age and look around and say, yes, I could feel some things here. I could sense some things here. Many times, many years ago, we see some good, good students in our, in our community. Good ladies, young girls. They look like they are black, but they look like white in their lifestyle. But because they did not know the things we know today, the result is different. They could not see like Moses who rejected some things and said, no, this thing can't follow me. That one can't follow me. I must change the result. Today, they ended up not what we think. But we, God, have to understand the foundation. We are able to cross the river and become a shining star today. Every one of you that is crying secretly that nobody can help. You might be going through the training now. But today you will reject anything that is put to your head. As an excess luggage from your father's house. 
as an excess luggage attached to your ministry. Amen. What did he say? Hebrew 11 verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called. He saw something that why he should refuse it. He saw it. Micah 7 verse 7 to 8, where we are running up. And what did he say? Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemies. When I fall, I shall arise. When I fall, somebody is about to rise again. When I fall, somebody is about to rise again. When I fall, I pray for somebody here. You shall arise again. Rejoice not against me, oh, my enemies. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light. Wow. Somebody's coming out stronger. Somebody's coming out powerful. If you are that person, lift your hand and say, I shall arise again. What did he say in Micah 7, 7? Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Today, God is about to hear everybody here. That thing following you. The mariners were short of wealth. Who has entered this family? What has happened to our family? Where is this trouble coming from? Look at the testimony of our brother, our, our pastor on Wednesday here. The grandmother where he married from, no in-law survived. Five in-laws have died because something is following the family. When he got to his own, the mother, the grandmother died of where he married from and no in-law to do burial. They have to beg him to go and do in-law greeting. Where are the senior in laws from? The grandmother. All have gone because something was following them. Then he got to his, the, the, the lady he got married from, only to also find out five in laws have also died. He said, No, for the grace, he was the one to die. The thing jumped from him and went to the other in law. Now, all the in laws from the grandmother are gone. This other one, gone. Whatever is fighting you, Moses looked at his family and said, no, this thing is in this place. I will fight it. Poverty. I can see poverty here. I can see burden. Too much burden. I can see criticism. I can see everybody is comfortable. They don't travel. What I'm seeing, I don't know. Something is not correct. If you don't see, you can't, you can't change it. You must be sensitive to see and know the nakedness in your family. What is happening? You must be smart and intelligent to put down your eyes and watch what is happening. I'm telling you the fact. If you are not sensitive to this, time will pass you. Life will pass you. That's what makes me a better pastor than the other ones. Not because they are not anointed. They are specially anointed. Highly brutal. Intellectually capable. Even some highly... In fact, don't even go there. But they did not see what I was seeing. Said this thing is an error. It must be corrected. Someone says an error. You have to correct the error today before you leave here. Some of you, when you pray for people, they leave the church. Some of you, when you gather them together, thinking they are there to help you, when they want to key, do things, it will look like this is this a devil incarnate. There must be something you will find out. What is it that is following me? You must address it. If you don't address it, it will become a pattern. Because it will be repeating every time. Every year, the devil will be bringing something that looks like almost similar in the same form. Gives you an husband that can kill you or a wife that can make you backslide. You must check out and be wiser be smart. If you are not smart, you say, well, I'm a new creation Christian. That's a good one. But one time will come, you start breaking courses and covenant to be too late. That's why next coming Wednesday now, 
That's the last day we are breaking these things. Not because we've not break them. Because they are evil ones usually rise up again. So you correct it all the time when they are trying to rise up. I pray for someone here. The Bible said, Oh, my enemy, do not rejoice over me. When I fall, and I say to that person that has fallen before, to fall is risky and is dangerous, but there is hope for you right now. Who is that person that wants to rise again? First, I pray for you, receive wisdom to be sensitive to what is following you. Two, receive grace. And cut the thing away. Amen. Thirdly, receive understanding. Amen. That any time you see the thing coming, you know the wisdom to handle them. Amen. Lift your hand, you are going to pray now. Are you ready to pray? Amen. That thing following me. My business, my calling, my ministry. My opportunities. Where good money enter your husband, you will be thinking of how to marry another wife. Something is following Something is what? You must be sensitive. What is it that is following? Moses grew on age and said, look, I'm no longer a hair. No. I must stop this thing following me. Are you ready now? Say that darkness attached to my foundation. Attached to my son's name. Enough is enough. As I jump now, I cut you off. Cut it up. Every darkness attached to your foundation. Attached to your life. Cut them up. Cut them up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.